And this is a big thing that I loved about the Nibelheim demo. So I love Cloud's demeanor yes. on the mission with Sephiroth. This is one of my favorites too. Is this one of yours? Yes. Too? Okay, cool. So the way that Cloud reacted, the way he expressed himself, the way he moved. Now he was fangirly. He's <laughs> like hard. He was. Did you see his facial expressions? It was all purposeful though, right? So, okay, since I've played the original game, Seven, from the 1990s, and I suspect that the demo is following the same plot line, at least at that part of the game, uh -huh. right? I'm not going to spoil what I think will be coming in Rebirth, you know, for those who haven't actually played Seven, the newer generations, but for all those who know what I'm talking about and who may have even played Crisis Core, Pay special close attention to the way that Cloud talks. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? And the way that Cloud acts. Thanks. Sounds like you were having a good time. And even the way he physically moves. I'll be careful. <laughs> it is so deliberate and well represented that I loved the intricate detail that developers deliberately put there. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? My husband, Spencer, and I just kept celebrating Cloud's little gestures because he watched me play the demo. And every little gesture that Cloud gave during these interactions or like little remarks that he said, we were celebrating because we knew the subtext and the backstory behind those gestures and behind his language, right? From knowing the original story. So uh -huh. if you've played the original Seven or Crisis Core and Crisis Core, and you know what I'm talking about, you'll probably notice, like you, Ernest, probably noticed what I noticed about what made Cloud's behavior so uniquely spot on uh -huh. throughout this demo. And if you have no idea what's coming, just pay attention to Cloud throughout this demo or this chapter in the game, right? Because it will pay off for you later. And I mean, I, that's, all, that's all I'm gonna say. So I don't wanna spoil it. So the great thing for someone like me who has the type of job that I do every day is that I forget things all the time. <laughs> so... I remember vaguely like the overall original seven game, but the intricate details and all that don't remember any of it. Oh, and so like I'm almost experiencing seven for the first time again. OK, right. So for me, this is great. I love it. And this is one of the reasons I love JRPGs is, again, as long as I put it away for like five, ten years and come back to it, it's like playing it all over again. That's true. Except for the ending, because you can't experience that twice. Like You always remember the ending again. Yeah, I'm telling you, for our listeners, if you haven't gone and watched the YouTube videos on people playing Final Fantasy 10, 10. <laughs> for the first time and getting to the ending. <laughs> It is gold. It is YouTube gold. You need to go find it. You will get stuck in that rabbit hole for hours. And especially if you're of the vintage gaming generation like myself, where you experienced it at the same age these people are now at yeah. experiencing it for the first time, you remember what it was like. And it's amazing. So, yes, Cloud's performance is amazing in this one. I will give him credit. It was one of the things I wasn't too enthused about in Remake. It's much better now. There's much better range on the character and the voice acting. Right. So like my point was actually about the voice acting, but it all ties together, like his mannerisms, just like the faces he makes when he's looking at Sephiroth. It's that meme, like find you someone who looks at such and such like someone looks at such and such. It's so good. I loved it. It was great. OK, so that does make me ask, though. So Ernest, so I'm alluding to the significance based on story of why Cloud is looking and acting a certain way. Do you remember why he's acting and looking a certain way? No idea. Okay, so you, this is like you felt. Okay, so you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Not this specific like detail, right? Okay, yeah. Like I played seven, I know the plot, but like as far as like this, who knows? Okay. For me, it was just like, hey, he actually is expanding his character. Like okay. the last one, he was just like this kind of goth angst <laughs> teenager. And now he's expanding. And obviously part of it is because this was before yeah you're kind of looking back in time and so he was still a young impressionable man or whatever the case is he wasn't jaded by life yet right so like yeah but it was great yeah. i loved it you're a fan as a fan of the series i'm like this is great it's better than what it was well he definitely is more animated and more energized that's very deliberate. That's kind of what I'm calling out here. Right. But I tended to really like Cody Christian's performance in Remake. I think it's actually, somebody mentioned on one of our 
YouTube video, somebody commented, and I totally agree with this person, that subtlety is actually more difficult to play than being like angry or really emotional. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here, back you up. Barrett, I'm asking you, please. I thought that he played that well. I know a lot of people, yourself included, disagree with me on that. But you can tell to the point of this particular discussion that that is different in the Nibelheim demo. Mm -hmm. And I guess what I'm saying is it's deliberate because of what's coming next. Oh, I'm certain. I believe you. I'll just leave it there. I don't know what it is because I don't remember right. anymore. No, that's so, I think it's awesome that you don't remember that. So you're going to be experiencing this for the first time, basically. At a certain point, I will put the pieces together. Yeah. And be like, oh, wow, that makes sense now. Yeah. I'm excited for that moment. Me too. <laughs> you're practically panting. I'm excited. Such a puppy. 